What kind of font should you use on your PowerPoint slides to make it easy as possible for your audience? Now, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. One of the more interesting aspects of PowerPoint is the type of font you should use when you're using words on your slides. This is a topic that I think a lot of presenters overlook. They just put up their favorite kind and they don't really think about what the impact is on the audience. This is a subject all in itself. Now, typography is a subject that Steve Jobs took in college that influenced the way he helped design all the Apple computers uh, from an aesthetic standpoint. As far as the kind of font you should use on your slides, whether it's PowerPoint or Apple's version Keynote, make it those types that are easy to read, especially from different parts of the room. Not being an expert on this topic, I've had to lean on slide developers to find out what is the best type of font to use. And one that they talk about is using what's called sans serif font. Make it very smooth lines. Here's an example of that right here. It's called sans serif. What you don't want to do is use overly fancy fonts that make the audience work too hard. It sounds kind of silly to say you're making the audience work too hard to read. But again, science has proven that there are certain types of lettering or fonts that are harder for people. It slows down their reading. I don't understand the science behind all of this, but there's been enough research done to show that certain types make it much easier for the reader. Again, remember, you are the reason people are there. You have to be the focus. Don't distract them, not only with too many words, but with words that are hard to read make it very simple so they can do a quick glance. Some people call it the billboard effect. If it's more than three seconds, they're spending too much time staring at your screen and reading it. So test out some different fonts. And again, like we do with our material, ask people, is this hard to read? Is it simple to read? Do that and you'll make it a much more enjoyable experience for the slides that you do have up. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.